Welcome back to another episode, guys. Um, we're here in McLaren Vale, Lakeside, Caravan Park. A very nice little place. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice little park. Loving it. We brought our bikes with us again. Oh, we always bring our bikes with us, whether we use them or not, it's another thing. It's it's a top spot for, for push bikes because you can do the Riesling Trail um, and there's just so many other bike tracks everywhere. It's, it's, it's just great. You're so close to town that it's not worth jumping in the car. It's easy to just jump on your bike and go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, and highly recommend it. And if you don't have bikes, uh, I'd recommend hiring uh, some bikes so you can get e-bikes or just your normal bikes. Mm. I think up at the tourist centre. Yeah, is that where they have yeah, it was at the tourist uh, centre. I'd definitely do that. Uh, you love it. There's tracks everywhere, going to wineries and stuff. So or get off the beaten track and just mm. go wherever you like. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of wineries to choose from. So you've sport for choice. Absolutely. And just one thing though, if you do, if you've never ridden an e-bike, do yourself a favour and hire one and just get on it. They're great. Yeah, absolutely sport for wineries. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was surprised how many distilleries that uh, are there. Uh, we didn't actually get to see any, but no. I was just Googling what's actually there um, and a couple of breweries. So a, there's something for everyone. Let's go. What do you think, Daniel? It's nice. We've got a band on, we've got some food bands. Yeah. Weather's perfect. It is, isn't it? It's beautiful. But check this out. They're lovely. So we're at Tintara Winery at the moment. There's the burrito van over there and the uh, drink beverages. Riding around. Oh, look, they're great, aren't yeah. they? Probably left that up in seven, didn't I? Yeah.
Are you spoiled or what? No, it's spoiled, all right. <laughs> Have a look, zoom in up again, Rad. How beautiful is that? Yeah. All right, so we just decided to come down and check uh, Aldinga Beach out. We might go for a drive along the coast and check a couple of the beaches out. But, uh, There's Aldinga Beach. Straight through there. Yeah, that's a beach. <laughs> so this is Moana Beach and it's about an 11 minute drive from the Clarem Vale. So nice and close if you want to come down and check the beach out. So we're going to go for a drive along the beach and test the water out. Not going for a swim because I'd imagine it'd be very cold. Can't go. Alright, so yeah, we just let our tyres down with our new Camp Boss tyre deflators. Um, had nothing but good reports about them. Yeah, this is our first, first try with them. The beach looks really soft, so we thought finally we need to put them down. Beautiful. Takes a little while, but it's handy that you can just chuck all four of them on and walk around away. Yeah, and they just do their job. That one's done. So, so what would be they, rec they say it doesn't hurt to put them in and pull them out again or whatever. Do you remember what you've got them set to? 18, I think. Pretty sure I'll set them to 18 because someone said anything under 18 is a flat tyre. Alright, so on we go. Woohoo! Really beautiful. So whether we take out a, put the awning out and have a barbie and a few drinks, or whether we head on, I don't know. After three days in from Burrenvale, we decided to hit uh, Moana Beach, suss it out, and um, come down here for a bit of a walk. Let's dip our feet. air up. I'll go 40 in this and that'll be 38 in that I reckon. Thirty-eight exactly. Bought this beast and it's like a, uh, a servo grade, really good quality. Went through all these cheap ones and it cost me more in, in all the cheap ones and throwing them away than, than what it cost me to pay for this originally.
Darrenberg Winery. And it's the big cube. So we decided to go and check that out, didn't we? Very unique. <laughs> Different. Yep. Quirky. Artwork is like... Yeah, you just you've got to see it for yourself. Yeah. Not, we won't show you too much. We don't want to give too much away. Um, but for those that never, never get to, that'll never get to come here, we'll show enough so that you you got a bit of an idea. Yeah. And what was the cost to get in? It was fifteen dollars each to get in. You can get in for nothing, um, and still do a fair bit. But if you want to get up to the top floor where the bar is, um, it's fifteen dollars each, and in that price is a free wine tasting. So, and you, you were happy with the wines? Yeah, it was actually a, a generous uh, wine tasting. So for $15, uh, if you want to do that sort of thing, yeah, it was well worth it. Yeah, yeah I don't drink wines, but I, uh, I actually even had a bit of a crack, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> there was one that wasn't too bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> too many errors for me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, but, um... Hello. G'day, how, how are you? Yeah, difference that. Hello, Anya. Twins. <laughs> Tent with oh, uh, yeah. old-fashioned vintage, which you'll see. Uh, I don't know what you call them. Uh, fortune teller machines. Um, it was actually a little bit creepy. It was, I was creepy, so... yes, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm so disappointed uh, that we didn't even think to put a coin in because they've got coins that you could have put into, you know, because they're still in operation. And uh, yeah, anyway, we missed that opportunity, so which we should have done. Yeah, I just thought they were on display. I didn't yeah. realise you could do that. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So we're just a little creepy. Look at that one. <laughs> <laughs>
just had a nice break again. Yes, very nice. Still in McLaren Vale at the moment. And uh, yeah, bacon and eggs, it was lovely. Just uh, flick this around. I'll try and flick it around. Tin Shed Cafe. Really nice little spot. So all in all, uh, definitely worthwhile giving Mac McLaren Vale a oh, visit. Probably one of my favourite inland, oh, it was not real inland. No, not but really. But it's, it's one of my favourite, uh, up there on my favourite SA towns. It's, there's just so much to do there. It's so pretty. Mm. Um, yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah, they've got everything there that you need. Oh. And it's a, it's a quite a quaint little little town, actually. It's quite pretty. Mm. Yeah. They're very. All right, guys, thanks for coming. Please like and subscribe. It helps us out a bit. So, yeah. See you in the next episode. Bye. See ya.